Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to be installing Red Hat Enterprise Linux on a VMware Workstation Pro. To start with, if you have not yet registered for a Red Hat account, you can do so by navigating to this web page. All you have to do is click on register for a Red Hat account and then follow the process. In my case, I have already done that. So the next thing is to navigate to the download website, the download page. This is also the developer website for Red Hat Linux. So the first thing is once you've registered, you then need to sign in. You need to log in and you have to activate your subscription. Upon activating your subscription, you could scroll down and download the ISO file. In this case, the ISO I want to download, it's going to be Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.3. And we need to download the DVD ISO, the X8664 ISO. So this is what we're going to be downloading, the DVD ISO file. And in order to do so, you just click on this download button, which should uh, take a couple of minutes depending on your internet connection. I've already downloaded this file and I have that saved up in my downloads folder. So there it is. Okay. Once you've downloaded the ISO, we need to fire up our VMware Workstation Pro. The first step, it's just the normal way you've been able to install virtual machines we click on create a new virtual machine. I like to leave mine at typical. We click next. I like to leave mine at I will install the operating system later. And we click next. Make sure you have the Linux radio button checked. And then you drop down uh, and uh, select your version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. In our own case, it is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9, 64 bits. And we click Next. Here, you can modify the name of your virtual machine. In my own case, I just want to leave mine as Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. You also have the option to choose the location in my case, I like where it is, but if you want to change that, you can browse through the location you prefer. And we click Next. Here, I recommend going for at least 30 gig, but because I have um, enough gigabyte to throw to this, I'm going to do mine 50 gig. And I like to store virtual disks as a single file. I click next. At this customized hardware page, this is where I'm going to make a few changes. First off, we click on customize hardware. For memory, it's at 2 gig, but I know I have enough memory on my host machine, so I want to bump this up to 4 gig. You don't have to do the same. It depends on the resources of your host machine. So I like mine at 4 gig. Processor I'm going to leave at it is. New CD. Here I'm going to browse to the ISO file that we downloaded. Remember mine, it's in my download folder. So I check this radio button and I browse to my download folder. 
there we go and this is the ISO file that I downloaded make sure you select that and you click open I need some sort of internet connectivity so NAT is okay the rest you can leave at default and I'm going to close this and click on finish now once it's finished I need to now power on my virtual machine you can click here or you can use this button this and that does the same thing power on now here I'm going to use the arrow keys It's important to read all this we need the first option which is install Red Hat Enterprise Linux and then we hit enter the first option and enter as he's doing his thing you just need a little bit of patience okay Okay, the welcome screen, um, for me, default is okay. I'm in Canada. You can choose which option suits you best. Feel free to choose the right uh, option for your own case. In my own case, I'm happy with where it is. I click on continue. Okay, here look at all those with warning signs we need to address all of them okay so that um, things will install smoothly for us so first off i'm going to address installation destination you just click on that and i have just one uh, a disk just make sure i select my disk okay and um i had i click on done you can feel free to read all this if it is your first time uh, installing this okay done so that one is okay the next is uh, root password I'm going to also click on this and I'm going to define a root password that I can remember and I'll confirm the pro password everything looks okay I click done okay now everything seems fine we can go ahead now and begin the installation begin installation So the installation process is ongoing. We just have to relax and uh, watch it do its thing.
I'm going to pause this uh, to save some time. I'm going to pause the recording to save some time. Okay, we are nearly there. All right. Okay, the installation is now complete. All we have to do now is to go ahead and reboot the system. Okay, the system is rebooting. Okay, so here we have our welcome page. Welcome to Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.3. Setup will guide you through making an account and enabling some features. We will have you up and running in no time. So true. Click on Start Setup. So location services, uh, if you don't want that toggled on, you can toggle it off, but I'm fine with that. Click Next. For the online account, you can sign in with your online account. In this case, I'm just going to skip this online account step. Here, I'm going to create a user account. In this case, I want to create an account for a user called John. And my username is going to be John. And I have to click Next. I will also define a password for the user John. And I'm going to confirm the password. I'm just using a weak password uh, because this is not going to be a production machine. Um, but it is advisable to go for a very strong password. I click on next. All done. Now start using Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Click on the button. If you like, if it's your first time, you could take a tour. Um, I, I already know how to navigate my way around. So I'll click on no thanks. System not registered, I, I will register later. Okay. So that's us. That's us. All right. So that it's how to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux on a VMware Workstation Pro hypervisor. Thank you for watching.